If you're a learner and you are learning how to build microservices or Java applications using Spring Boot or IntelliJ, then there is no reason why you should not be testing your application in the cloud. The reason is because everything, you can learn it for free. In this case, I'm going to show you how to set up a Kubernetes cluster in Google Cloud for free. And that is what I'm going to be using in this tutorial. Now I've developed an application, a microservice application of my local system, and I want to deploy it to a Kubernetes cluster in Google Cloud. So I'm going to show you how to create this cluster in Google Cloud. So if you go to if you go to Google, uh, if you go to Kubernetes cluster, you can read it up a bit. Uh, in Google Kubernetes engine uh, is a cluster consisting of at least one master and multiple worker machines called nodes. A cluster is a, is a foundation of GKE Kubernetes, a uh, Google Kubernetes engine. The Kubernetes object that represents your containerized application is run on top of a cluster. So forget about this. A, a Kubernetes is simply an orchestration application on the cloud. So orchestration is simply something that orchestrates or kind of manages your microservices. Remember, microservices split an application into different uh, independently deployable uh, chunks. So all these applications that are now independently deployable and in small bits of services, they need to be managed together or orchestrated together. And that is what Kubernetes engine helps you to do and Google Cloud is a very good place to start uh, working with it. So uh, this is Axon Framework. If you want to learn it, go to my website. This is a different thing altogether. So let's go. Let me show you how to create a Kubernetes uh, cloud sign, Google Cloud. So simply go to cloud.google.com. Now, before you create uh, the Kubernetes cloud sign, you need to create an application or a project in Google Cloud. So if you come to Google Cloud, uh, you go to console. So I'm going to click on console right here. Now, I'm not going to be showing you exactly how to create a project, but uh, it's very easy to do. So here we have dashboard, we have activities. So basically, if you want to create a project, you simply go here and uh, choose new project and create a project. It's very straightforward and very easy to do. So before we can create Kubernetes cluster, we need a project. So since I want to deploy a microservice I'm building, now if you want to follow the steps to build these microservices, easily go to kindsandthegenuis.com slash microservices. So simply go to kindsandthegenuis.com slash microservices, and you are going to see the step-by-step -step, uh, of building this uh, microservice I'm building in my local system store. So, you could see steps. Uh, you can see part one. This comes to part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, all the way to part ten, I think. So you can also follow the steps to build this application. I'm building a, micro, a full fledged microservice application you can build and test and also learn how to build microservices. All right. So, um, so now I have two projects. I created, so I'm going to use the gift card because that is the one I want to use uh, to set up Kubernetes cluster there. So what you are going to do, Kubernetes, uh, Google, Google Kubernetes engine is available under Kubernetes engine, so just click on it. So once you click on it, uh, the first thing you are going to, it's going to ask you is to add billing. So for instance, like now I've added billing in this gift card project. But in case you have a project and you've not actually added billing to it, uh, it's going to ask you to enable billing. So once you enable billing, you are going to enter uh, credit card information, but they are not going to charge you. It's actually free, um, free for about uh, one, one year and you are going to have $300 for free. So this is enough, more than enough to learn anything you want to learn. Uh, in Kubernetes and Google Cloud and microservices. If you can follow my website, remember you can subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button below so that you can learn together with me. Uh, you can you can follow along each time I make a new lesson. So I'm going to go to this project called GitCard. So what I'm going to do at this point is to go to Kubernetes uh, engine and go to clusters. So at this point, I don't have any cluster available. Um, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to just click on create 
posta. So it takes a while, but uh, so now you can see the free trial status. I actually have not used anything. All right, so it says create name of the class. I'm going to call it uh, gift cards. Gift card cluster. Okay, gift card uh, cluster. Gift card cluster. Okay, let's call it that. So. Now, if you choose the type to be zonal or original, you cannot change it. So make sure you choose right. But anything you choose is okay because uh, this is a demo. So leave it at US Central 1A. It is fine. Um, this is okay. So leave this one at the default. 1.13.11 uh, Google Plus Engine 14. So a Kubernetes cluster is made up of uh, uh, master node and a few worker nodes, but this we are not going to be getting involved in because Google provides a service that sets up those things for us very easily, so we are not going to be worrying about it. So for now, we can leave our three nodes. Uh, you can change it later on, but leave it at three nodes at this point. So machine family, you can actually see uh, what it means here. So we can leave it at general purpose series N1, N2, uh, N2 is powered by da 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 da. So we're going to leave it as first generation is okay. Machine type, standard, one CPU, 3.75 memory, actually 4 GB of memory on one CPU, that is fine. And auto upgrade, fine. So um, autos and those features that I can tell. So let's go down, availability and networking. So we can actually, uh, Additional location for now not necessary. Available every time, anytime, 24 hours is fine. All right. So if you go down, you have networking. You can actually leave it at the default. Is okay. If you want, you can actually read up what it means. Uh, what the 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 you can read out what each of the the selection means. All right. So basically, you are leaving everything the way they are. Uh, Network security, private cluster, enable master authorization, network security, basic, uh, basic authentication. Uh, well, so we can go for, so starting from version 1.2, it will have basic authentication and client certificate instance by default enabled. And here we have, okay, so we can just simply choose basic authentication and that is fine. Um, Client certificate, or we can leave it the way it is. So we have metadata is optional. I can okay. I can just call it cluster for gifts card demo application. So um, levels not necessary. Okay, at this point I can simply click on create. So it's going to set up. My cluster, uh, I can see the name gift card cluster and is being set up. Now, if you want to create a microservice locally on your system, simply go to my channel, Kyneton the Genius. Actually, you can Kyneton the Tech Pro. So go there, uh, Kyneton the Tech Pro. I can see a playlist of 36 video, uh, 31 videos where I built a complete microservice using Spring Boot. So, for instance, if I go to Playlist and you scroll down, you can uh, you look for microservices. Uh, maybe I can just search for it. Search for microservices. So I hope you see a complete playlist. Mm, let's see. So we have. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, we have this microservices step by step tutorial here. So this is a playlist of about stop this. So this is a playlist of about 24 videos where I built a complete microservices made up of three uh, different services. You can follow it after building it, then we can deploy it together uh, to Kubernetes cluster uh, on Google Cloud. Again, I'm building uh, another microservice, this time using a different technology. This time I'm using Axon framework to build a microservice that supports uh, event sourcing and CQRS using Azon framework. 
and I'm building it locally and I can also deploy to, to a Kubernetes cluster on Google Cloud. So at this point, uh, it takes time to create, but uh, let's still wait for a minute. So this is my channel, so feel free to subscribe. If you also want to learn how to build application using uh, Hibernate with Spring Boot and JPA, you have the complete step-by-step -step here, about 29 of uh, uh, lessons here. And microservice step-by-step -step tutorial is also right here. So in this case, in this case, we have a complete, uh, I think I should actually I should actually uh, remove this ad box, you know. So this is how to build a microservice step by step. It is 37 minutes, so I recommend you go through it because microservices is, is the direction of application development at this time. So this is taking time and um, maybe I should stop here, but for now we've created this Kubernetes cluster. This is exactly how to do it. Please do it yourself, and in the next uh, lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a repository, how to use a command line, and how to have a local Kubernetes on your local system. For now, I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to hit the subscribe button, and also let me know if you have any challenges following this, this lesson.